Welcome to a video in which Crystal Ann Compton probably pisses off a lot of people. Let's get into it! Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton. Uh, what happened in 2016? And what do we got going on right now? We've got a president named Donald Trump and a lot of you are spinning out of control. A lot of you you just can't take it and you don't know how to go on and, and you feel like this is the end and super dramatic. <clears throat> and I'm going to call you on that because how does that feel when you run that kind of indignation in your body? How does it feel when you run that kind of anger? How does it feel when you see some Trump supporter online talking about make America great again? Like how does that feel in your body? Probably not so great, right? You get mad get up on the internet, you start talking back to those people, you start calling them names, oh, you're a bigot, you're a racist, you're a white nationalist, whatever, like, is that what you're doing? How's that feel? How do you think that's contributing to the planet? How do you think that's contributing to the consciousness on this planet, the consciousness of humanity, the consciousness which also includes animals and plants? What do you think that's doing, actually? Well, let me tell you. It's making it worse. The more you indulge your dramatic anger, the more you express that in ways that are poisonous and toxic, the more you walk around the planet with your head hanging, all bummed, all sad, all disappointed, the more you make it hard on the animals, the more you make it difficult for trees and for nature, the more Gaia feels the impact of your negativity. and the more your brother and your sister, who might also be struggling with energy or negativity or their worldview, just gets a blast of your negativity making their experience worse. Because let's not forget, we're all connected. We truly are all one. And if you're living in a life that sucks, that's dangerous, that's scary, that is freaking you out, well, my friend, you created that yourself. You created that. You weren't alone or anything, but you created that experience that you're now having. And you're not the first person that I've said this to. I've said this to other people. Oh my God, massive indignation. Well, how dare you? Of course I'm upset. Ah, frothing, mad, bad energy. How you vibrate in with that? Not so good. Come on, move out of that dark cloud of hatred, anger, indignation. It serves no purpose. You are the problem if that's where you're living. If you're not waking up, feet hitting the floor, grateful to be alive, acknowledging the beautiful planet upon which you live and the beauty in your brothers and sisters of all colors, of all sizes, of all political bents, if you're not waking up excited to find a way to be a blessing and a balm for somebody today, then you're doing it wrong. And that's just the way it is. It is. Hey, let me just tell you, I do it wrong all the time. <laughs> I get pissed off. Of course, look at the president that we have in our White House right now. I'm not going to say what I think about that because I really don't want to talk about politics too much. But let's look at, this is a crazy world. But it's, to me, kind of humorous because everything we're experiencing is just a mirror. It's a reflection of that which we have caused collectively. And if we want to change the reflection, if we want to do our hair a little bit as a consciousness and get it together and express something beautiful, that's on us. That's our work. And so no, it's not okay for you to continue to indulge your unhappiness, your mindset, your indignation, your negativity, your anger, your pessimism, your disappointment in other people. It's not okay. Not if you really are who you say that you are. Are you a spiritual person? Are you trying to expand your consciousness? Are you trying to broaden your awareness? Are you trying to connect with source energy? Oh, really? Then it's not okay for you to do that. And I understand that that can be hard, but it can be conquered and therein lies the work. From the time of birth to the time of death, that's what this is, work. Lesson after lesson after lesson, joy after joy, pain after pain, work, work, work. And one of the ways that you will know that you have work around this is you'll be getting mad at me. 
<laughs> you'll be thinking, who the hell do I think I am telling you how to feel? You'll be getting triggered. And if you're getting triggered, that is just an invitation to deeper work. You contribute more spiritually to others, to the planet, and to yourself when you find a way to be love and to express love and be the representative of the love that you created. You contribute more energetically when you are peace, when you are grace, when you are wellness, when you are equanimity. You contribute, you change things on a much more powerful level when you come from that orientation as opposed to your negative bullshit. That's what it is. And you don't get to indulge it anymore. You just don't. And so for 2017, with Donald Trump in the White House and the world going off the rails on a crazy train. I want you to make a resolution around changing yourself first, changing your frequency entirely, raising the vibration and changing your mindset so that you can change the reality in which not just you're living, but in which I'm living as well.